Hey everybody, this is Tina. Welcome to my video today. I know typically I do a Memory Keeping Friday post and this week I'm skipping it because I'm deep in card making and swap cards and class cards and I really have been wanting to use some new product and share with you guys some of the creations that I've been coming up with for cards and so we're skipping Memory Keeping Friday but it'll be back next Friday. So today I'm going to use this bundle. It is the Lemon Zest Bundle. That means it's bundled together. You can get the stamp set and then the coordinating punch that goes with it. You can get all of that together. So that's what I'm going to be using. And then I'm also going to be using this amazing wood grain paper. So again, my lighting's a little bit off. I've got to do a little bit of something about that. But we'll, I'm getting through it, you guys. We'll just work through it until I can tweak it a little bit. But here is that beautiful wood grain paper. So we're going to be using that. I just want to grab a design out of here. Like this would be a pretty design. All of these designs would work great for it. Um, this is going to be one of my swap cards for sure. So all of the different wood grain designs will work, but I'm just picking one that I like. So let's trim this down to, we're gonna trim this down to three and three quarters by five and a quarter. We're gonna have a card base, and this is a, this is a soft sky or pool party would work card base those colors are pretty similar I took an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock and I went ahead and cut that in half at four and a quarter and so now my card is gonna open up like this so now this can layer together on here four and a quarter by five and a half and then what I did is I have a white card base and this card base is at four by five and a quarter, and then my wood grain layer is going to be at three and three quarters by five. And so I'm gonna be able to layer all of these together. So I'm gonna stamp actually first on this wood grain piece of paper. And this was a little bit, I was a little bit nervous about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and use basic black ink to do this, but I'm gonna line it up really straight on my grid mat. And then this is a red rubber stamp and it clings to my clear block. And typically I like the stamps that you can see through because you can get them straighter. And I just tend to never put these stickers on straight so sentiments definitely come out a little bit crooked sometimes. So what I'm doing is I'm just inking this up with my black ink. And then instead of trying to line that sticker up, what I'm going to do is line up the bottom of my stamp because the image should be straight on my on the actual stamp. So if I line up the bottom of that, I kind of got to get right over it. It should be a little bit straighter. And that's not too bad. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's handmade, which we like having things handmade that are not perfect. Um, but definitely if you're trying to line it up, I like my things to line up. And if you're trying to do that, then that's a tip for you to do. Just use the bottom of the stamp instead of the sticker placement if you're not great at getting those stickers on. So we went ahead and uh, stamped Life is Short. And then we can go ahead and layer this onto our white piece. Then we're gonna take some twine, and I got these old style clothespins, and I like to put my twine right around these. I just take it out of the package. It comes in a package like this, and I just take it right out of the package, and I roll it right around the clothespin. I have that, that new package because I need to do that. So. But that is the way I like to store my twine. So we're gonna go ahead and put the twine up top here. This is the linen thread, so um, it is a little bit thinner than like baker's twine or, um, and it's a little stiffer too, like it tends to stand up a little bit more. So I'm just gonna tie a bow. Okay, so you can see I have a bow on that, and then I've wrapped it around three times, so it's easy to move this around and kind of spread the twine out if I need to. And then this layer can go right down on the blue. Now you could, if you wanted, pop this up, pop the white piece up directly on our blue card base. 
But I think I'm just going to leave it flat. I'm going to pop up some other items. So really quick while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to open this up and we're going to stamp inside. Again, we're going to use black. I rarely do this, but I thought it would be fun. So this says life is short. And then right on the inside, we're going to go ahead and stamp live with zest. Right in the middle. And then we're going to do some other things in side that card if I don't forget you guys know I'm awful about forgetting oh let's just do it right now okay so this is from the stamp set and you're gonna see me stamp these in a few minutes but I just have these extra ones just like that then I'll turn this over And we'll cut that off there we go so now let's work on the outside of our card because we need a little bit something more so a couple of things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a white piece of paper we're gonna take our yellow ink pad this is crushed curry and we're gonna stamp our lemon right on there then we're gonna use old olive Okay, so then I'm going to keep my yellow pad open and I'm going to grab a tangerine tango and we're going to do a few things. So first I have my green and I want to go ahead and I'm going to stamp. This is about to fall off of here. I can feel it. See that? I wonder if I can salvage it. Uh, probably not. Okay, so what I do when that happens is we just add a little adhesive to our block. So I'm going to want to be really careful because I got ink all over the edges of my stamp when I was doing that. So I just need one of these. We'll close that up. And now we are going to grab this image right here and we need an orange one. And then we're going to have to go ahead and clean our block, I mean our stamp. And then we're going to grab a yellow one of that. Okay, so now let's punch all of this stuff out. So I'm going to use a circle punch. I'm going to use the one and three fourth inch circle punch. And that's going to give me a little bit of a white border around that. Now I'm going to use the lemon zest punch and sometimes I'm not always great at lining my stamped images up so that they punch out perfectly. Sometimes I have to fiddle around with them and cut my paper like this one. I didn't do all that great. I'm going to have to cut this. Just real life you guys. I don't always... These kinds of punches can frustrate me at times. See, so I just keep doing this until I figure it out. Voila. Okay. And then same thing, I need my leaf here and I, perfect okay so now let's put this card together so now that we have all of our pieces I'll show you the basic layout of what I'm gonna do we're gonna have this piece here and this is gonna be popped up so let's just go ahead and add our dimensionals right now so I don't have to take the backing off to figure out my layout and then I'm gonna have the orange one there we'll go ahead and have the yellow one I want them kind of stacked like this. And then we'll have the green piece here. The green leaf right there. So let's put this together. So what I think I'll do is we'll start, we'll just take it all off and we'll just see how it goes. So let's definitely have the orange one laying flat. 
and we'll also get these off. Okay guys, my memory card filled up. So all I've done is I have my dimensionals on here and I put adhesive on here. So here's a tip. When you're placing your stuff around and you have adhesive on the back, don't smash it down right away. Just leave it, just set it right on the surface. And then if you need to change something around or you need to move something around, you'll be able to. So I'm gonna go ahead and not pop this one up. And then I'm gonna grab some dimensionals. The other fun thing that you can do is you can grab your Wink Estella. I think that I need a new Wink Estella out. see it has a little bit of shine on it and glitter so fun I love this card you guys so the first one I did did not have a border around it and then I used the crushed curry cardstock and I stamped on that so it was like a tone on tone effect and I still added a little bit of glitter to it but I don't know I just I didn't think it came out like it didn't really maybe look like it should like the lemon should so anyways i would love to know which one you guys liked better did you like it better when i just stamped it i also felt like it kind of like made it to where there was like three different colors and it kind of stood out a little bit better i feel like this kind of blends in so i would love to know what you guys think which one you like better and i hope that you guys are having a great friday make sure you head over to my website so you can see photos of this project the supply list is in the youtube description below or over at my website and I will be back on Monday to share with you guys my third card for my card class for next week and some swap cards that I'm doing. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you later.